Imagine you are on a boat. You experience the slight rocking and swaying as your boat moves through the water. But what happens when you get off the boat and these sensations of motion last for months or even years? You might begin to develop an unstable gait or suffer from migraines. You might suddenly become sensitive to flashing lights or loud sounds. You might develop anxiety and depression seemingly out of nowhere. This culmination of symptoms is not of random consequence. It is a rare and debilitating condition called mal de debarkman syndrome, or MDDS. This unusual neurological disorder is characterised by this persistent phantom motion in the form of rocking, bobbing, or swaying. As I alluded to, MDDS is accompanied by a myriad of other symptoms, but one specifically unique feature differentiating it from any other vestibular disorder is that symptoms are temporarily alleviated following exposure to passive motion, like driving in a car. However, perhaps an even more significant feature is the female predominance. The largest study of MDDS patients was completed by Western Sydney. Our results reflected the exact 9 to 1 female to male patient ratio published in previous studies. Now, whilst there are a few things that distinguish the fairer sex, there is one fundamental one, our hormones. Our study revealed a number of interesting hormonal characteristics pertaining to the MDDS patient pool. Firstly, an average age of 49 for disorder onset, a median age for the menopausal transition. Secondly, our patients reported a higher incidence of irregular menstrual cycles compared to the general population. They also stated that the time of ovulation and the commencement of their period served to exacerbate their symptoms. Thirdly, and perhaps most remarkably, pregnancy was found to induce symptom remission. These findings suggest that gender and potentially the female sex hormones of estrogen and progesterone may play a role in the development of MDDS, though this link has yet to be shown experimentally. That's where I come in. My research is focused on trying to understand how the fluctuations of these hormones may impact MDDS symptomology. Of particular interest, I'm examining stages of rapid estrogen withdrawal. Why? Because estrogen withdrawal occurs just before ovulation and the onset of the cycle, it is erratic throughout the menopausal transition, and it is completely absent during pregnancy. My, my work involves concurrent analysis of daily symptom diaries combined with saliva and blood hormone testing. Whilst in the preliminary stages, my results have shown that symptom severity and frequency does mimic these endocrine patterns or hormonal patterns. By further examining the male and female hormone profile of these patients, I endeavour to understand the reason behind their rocking. Thank you.